Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craving Shaving. It is, well, it's November 30th, but it's it's close enough. No Shave November is over and the beard is coming off. It's it's late on November 30th, so I'm calling it. I shaved the beard last late on October 31st, so I'm calling it a month. Um, and we're going to take it off. So, here is the razor that's going to do the deed. Okay, this is a Gold Dalla uh, 300 from Strike Gold Shaves. Frank sent that out to me, so thank you, Frank. I've used it a couple times. I've actually used it in videos a couple times, but the videos didn't turn out. So I really hope that this video turns out. And we will, we shall see. I might actually do a check halfway through to see if the audio screws up. So anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff that we're going to be using uh, to take the wretched beard off. <laughs> we got Sterling Black Ice. I don't know why. This is a really cold soap, but I crave this in the winter. It is such a nice um, cold, but it, I don't know, it's the scent too. It's just a wintry scent to me. And then um, another one that I'm going to be using, I haven't named this brush yet. It's one that I made for myself, and I guess I haven't had a priority to name it. Um, but it's this guy. To go with the black ice, I have the... Uh, black synthetic knot, and then black, red, and silver. This is the first one that I've made for myself with the Craving Shaving coin at the bottom. So, we're going to use that. Um, we are going to use Cannonball Aftershave from Summer Break Soaps at the end. So, got this all planned out, ready to go. Um, and then, standing by is the Parker variant, just in case um, I get fed up with the straight razor. We'll see. So let's go ahead and start building this lather. Well, lather up. Okay, lathering up in the shave bowl from shavebowl.com with just gobs and gobs of soap in the bottom of it. You can actually see it in this one. We've got tons of soap in there. Why? Well, because I've got a little beard hair <laughs> that I'm wanting to get through, so better too much than too little, I always say. Sorry, I forgot to fill up my sink, so that's going as well. Um, I really don't mind growing my beard out. I just wish I could also shave while I grew my beard out. That's kind of the, where it goes. Now that I've figured out how to get rid of that beard itch, I really don't mind drawing it out. So. Sterling, of course, great stuff. Whipping up just fine with this brush. This is not a boss knot or a game changer knot. This is something and I ordered a bunch of. It's just pure black synthetic. Um, which has kind of a nice look to it. And some hot water. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and wet the face. Really kind of soak those, those whiskers. All right, here we go. This is an incredibly soft knot. Not a lot of backbone, which I know some people really enjoy not having a lot of backbone. They have sensitive skin or something. Honestly, I like backbone, but part of the experience for me is the look of it. I like to have brushes that look nice. That's not always what I'm looking for. I like some that feel nice, obviously, too, but... I like to have brushes that I like the look of, including the knot. This, now I haven't given Cryogen a good try, but this is like the coldest soap that I've ever 
used, I think, to this point. It's cold stuff, man. Wondering if this was a good call with a straight razor shave. Shave, uh, razor's already stropped and everything. Um, here we go. That is satisfying. I'm not great with a straight razor, so we're going to take it slow here. I might not. Yeah, I think people are right. This is the way to kill a beard. I'm not as comfortable with it because I need to practice, but man, is it satisfying. I keep forgetting what angle to hold it at, so I have to readjust. You know what? I'm going to. So prepping for this shave. Got the kids to bed. Did some stuff, waited a while, make sure they're really asleep, you know, because they don't always stay in bed, right? Yikes, that was bad. Yikes. Not good at keeping that angle. You guys that straight razor shape are probably cringing like crazy if you're watching this. <laughs> Pointers are always appreciated. Anyway, got in the girls to bed, waited for them to make sure they were asleep, got all my stuff ready, almost set up the camera and got it running, and my youngest daughter got up. <laughs> Did something wrong there, that was tuggy. Maybe it's just coarser whiskers right there. All right, well, that's pretty good. Not bad. That's what I should have been doing when I was racing. I didn't ding it on anything though, so that's good. Okay, well, there we go. Beard is gone. Let me rinse. I'm going to rinse. I'm going to check the video, make sure everything is recording okay. 
and then uh, clean up some of this hair, and then we'll be right back. Just a second. Okay, everything looks fine, so let's get back to it. Pass number two. Very different feel on this. Still very soft. But just without the beard, it feels different, of course. Um, I'm going to pull a switch on you as far as the razor for the rest of the shave. Simply because I realize there's another razor that I would rather use. And that is the Marvel razor by Fine Accoutrement. So I've got that here. Let me give you a better look at that. Look at that razor. I think it's beautiful. I love it. Shorter razor, shorter handle, I mean. It's got some bite to it. Um, I really wanted to do this shave off thing. with the straight razor. If I didn't do it with the straight razor, I would have done it with this one. Because it's advertised as clog proof, and I thought that would have been a pretty good test of whether it's clog proof or not. Or not. The other thing this is advertised as, and this is mostly just like a first thought, I've never actually gotten a chance, I don't think, to fully shave with this. I did some trims and stuff, that doesn't really count as much. See, these are more first impression thoughts. Um, but it doesn't feel Super mild. But it doesn't feel super aggressive either. I got some weepers. I think I noticed most of them from the first pass. I don't think most of them were from this razor. Maybe one or two. I don't know. And I got some. I, think, I don't know if this this one might. Have been from the. I know these ones were from the straight razor. Anyway, okay, but I'm gonna do just a cleanup at this point, probably. Um, so let's just wet the face. I'm gonna lather up everything just because I like to feel this brush and this soap. I would say this brush. The way I have it set in this brush handle anyway. More of a painter than a scrubber. Great bowl lather. And I mean obviously you can scrub with it, but Probably more of a bowl lather, in my opinion. Feels really good to shave. After a month of not doing it. I was going to do cleanup, but I might as well just... This might be a new favorite razor of mine. This thing rocks. A 
get myself there. Not bad, I don't think. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, well, it feels amazing. Let me rinse off and we'll do some post shave, which I'm really excited for. One second. Not too bad. A lot of menthol from that. We're going to kick it off with another cold chemical. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but they don't use menthol, it's something else in silver break soaps cold after shaves. Um, I like it. So this scent is awesome. It's kind of orange, pineapple, and some chlorine like from a pool. But it makes you feel really nice. It's very, very cold and it lasts a long time. Whew. That was a rough shave. My upper lip did not like that shave, but I enjoyed it and I'm, I'm glad that I'm clean shaven yet. So we'll give the uh, straight razor some more practice for sure. I'll get to the point someday where I do a full shave with a straight razor, but I, I wanted it. And, you know, enjoy that last bit. And that first part took a long time. So. Anyway. Uh, yeah. No Shave November. Officially over for me. So I'll be shaving again. I don't anticipate that I will be growing a beard out anytime soon. Um, I can't see why I would. So um, hopefully I'll be able to, that means I'll be able to do more shave videos. I'm, I'm making brushes like crazy. I have a ton of blanks out there that I need to turn. So. Um, I might actually go do that after this video. Work on some brushes. My wife's gone. My kids are in bed. So what else have I got to do, right? So, um, yeah, I think that's it. If you have any suggestions for what kind of brushes you'd like to see, um, let me know. I just got some uh, exotic wood blanks that I'm, I'm really stoked to try. If you have any ideas for, like, glue-ups for that um, that you think would look cool, let me know. I'm not much of a woodworker. My wife is. Um, but I'm, I'm not much of a woodworker, so, um, but I, I would like to give it a try, you know, um, glue in different pieces together and turn it, I think it'd be fun. Okay, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning into this video, I don't know how long it is, probably pretty long, but, uh, thanks for, thanks for sticking around if you're still here, and, uh, hope you have a wonderful day.